Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedtsp.net and in this video we're going to continue our Castagram server and what we're going to implement today is about searching other users. Before we begin I would like to mention that if you're new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications because I'm uploading advanced C Sharp tutorials every week. Now let's start. So searching users. Searching users is a whole other controller because in the future um, in the future we are going to allow searching for different kinds of hashtags, accounts uh, and other stuff that Instagram allows. So I'm going to add to the features new folder which is going to be search and in the feature folder I'm going to add search controller search controller is API controller in which we're going to have an action public async task action result which is going to say uh, profiles. We're going to search for profiles. Uh, so what we need here is search term, which will come from the query. Okay, for now I'm going to return no. In, on Instagram we can search anonymously so I'm going to allow that additionally we're going to need HTTP get here and we're going to say that this route has profiles so what I need to have is if somebody calls search profiles question mark search term or query query equals uh, John we should return some profiles with John uh, in the future we're going to add hashtags here so this is why I'm using this route prefix good I would need to have a search I search service interface I search service and another one search service which implements the interface I'm going to my application services and I'm going to add the searching at transient I search service should be matched to the search service class okay here what I need is actually first I need the model models profile search service model profile search service model and here I'm going to just say user ID user uh, name and and public string photo URL profile photo URL for example uh, let me see how to name that here I said say that it's main photo URL so let's just name it profile photo URL 
user ID, username and profile photo URL. This is everything I need. Then I'm going to add a task from which returns a numerable of uh, profile search service model and I'm going to say profile string query. Then in the search service I'm going to implement that and I'm going to add private read-only cats the gram db context data I'm going to inject the service and I'm going to write the query I'm going to search for users which have the username in the query so what I need to do is I need to say await this data dot users where user username contains to lower actually contains the query to lower or user dot name dot profile dot name to lower contains query to lower that's a little bit ugly you can use f dot db functions this one to make a more prettier uh, to make a more prettier query here but I don't like it because this way we need to add SQL directly in our service logic so I prefer to use the to lower version okay then we need to select new search service model in which we need to say user ID equals the ID of the user username equals the username of the user and profile is profile main profile main photo URL and I'm just going to call to list the sync on that I'm going to add a sync like this this looks more than enough and the action result we'll just need to return I enumerable of this profile search service model like this we need to say this private read-only I search service in search await this search dot profiles like this this should be more than enough for the search query I'm going to test it in a minute but before that I'm going to show you where you can find the source code of this uh, video go to my github profile which is Ivaio Kenov like this there's a link down below in the description hit repositories write down TV and this is the repository we're talking about I would be extremely thankful if you give the project a star you may also watch it because I list every video I'm uploading here so it will be a good idea to watch it so that you won't miss any future video lesson you can use the source code to play with it to clone it to open a pull request if you like it doesn't matter particularly for this video it's in ASP.NET Core 5 plus Angular app you, you can find the server and the client here good I'm going to use the moment to thank my sponsors Endeavor, 2K, Softune, Smart IT, Noble Hire and 1Bit Software
few words about my diamond sponsor endeavor they're constantly searching for passionate developers so if you are uh, looking for a new opportunity make sure you check their website out additionally these are my gold sponsors 2k softuni smart it noble hair and one bit software thank you guys you truly rock and you motivate me to continue working on my free educational lessons now let's return to the project let's build it and let's try the search currently i have for users for users which we should validate by calling swash search swash profiles query equals test for example and it returns my test at ASP.NET test and test 2. Let's see whether it's case insensitive. Yeah, it is. And we may try to find user, for example, with all caps. It should return only this user. It doesn't have a profile photo because I guess we didn't, the user didn't put a profile photo. Actually, we haven't put any profile photo photos because we only updated name and biography so that's fine okay so that's the search it works correctly and it shouldn't be hard at all this project is getting uh, bigger and bigger by having more and more functionality in the future we're going to separate all these folders to separate projects and even in the far future I'm going to make the same project with domain driven design approach and with uh, clean architecture but for now let's keep it simple let's just implement the whole thing and then we're going to convert it to a better architecture this video series is all about writing proper ASP.NET core code with service layers, with uh, considerations for web requests, for example. And when we cover that, and when we cover the ASP.NET Core high quality standards, then we are going to make a more advanced approach by using clean architecture and domain driven design. But for now, let's keep it simple. So, this is almost everything about. Uh, this video I would like to invite you to my mentorship program my, it's available on patreon it's patreon.com slash I post monthly different kind of gifts to all my subscribers I have live workshops voting systems exclusive video lessons you name it just take a look at the uh, patreon page and you may like something for example here's a live workshop poll for my next workshop it may be about software architecture testing security considerations a lot of stuff uh, this is for community voted lessons what people like to see i've created an exclusive lesson for azure pipelines continuous integration continuous delivery I've posted a domain driven design and clean architecture practical guidebook, 70 pages tutorial, which makes you, uh, which creates an app from scratch by using these concepts and many more things like model binding workshops, C sharp to C sharp communication, uh, gRPC signaler, and many many more so if you're interested in additional content make sure you check my patreon out additionally i would like to uh, introduce you to my testing tools if you haven't heard them already uh, these tools allow you to assert super fast and super easy all kinds of sp.net core uh, components you will save a lot of time during your testing phase so make sure you check these tools out okay guys i'm going to see you in my next video bye for now